Luke chapter 11, Luke chapter 11, and it came to pass that as he, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, if you're not saved, if you're not a Christian, you can't say that to God, because he's not your Father. You are not one of his children. And I'm here to tell you that you need to become one of his children. You need to be born again. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So you've got to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God, to be in the family of God so that you can enter into heaven. You see, we cannot be in heaven because of our sins. Our sins need forgiveness. We need forgiveness for our sins. And the only way is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ which he shed for us freely upon the cross of Calvary when he was crucified for you and for me. Yes, when you pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us uh, day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend that shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine uh, in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to say before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, though it is because he persists, keeps on ask, asking, uh, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Now I want to just say this. This is in relation, now this was the Lord Jesus Christ talking to his disciples. He's talking to believers, to Christians. But I want to tell you that if you are really wanting salvation, it says here, I want to use this in the gospel now. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find not and it shall be opened unto you. So we need to realize our sinful condition before the Lord, our inability to save ourselves by any way, shape or form, we're without strength to save ourselves, and yet the Lord Jesus Christ came to our rescue. He left heaven's glory, my friend, and came down to the sin-cursed earth to die upon the cross for you and for me, so that you and I would have opportunity to get right with God so that we can enter into heaven. We cannot be in heaven apart from faith in Jesus Christ. You've got to come to Christ to be saved. There's no salvation apart from Him. For in Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. See, the Lord Jesus Christ wants to be your Saviour this morning. But you have to let Him be your Saviour. You have a will. You have a choice. God has given us free will. Away with the Calvinist doctrine, my friend. God has given us free will. We can choose either to go God's way or the devil's way, which is basically our way. It's basically the devil's way. So we need to understand that the devil has rebelled against God. And then God had to throw him out of heaven as a result of that rebellion. And I'm here to tell you this morning, your soul can be saved. God wants to save your soul this morning, as I'm preaching unto you this morning. You need to get right with God. You need to receive forgiveness for your sins. And that only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. The Lord Jesus Christ loved us enough to die upon the cross. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ died for our sins according to scriptures, and he was buried. And praise God the third day he rose again according. To the scripture. He's at the Father's right hand now, waiting for you to respond in the right way and believe upon Him, to put your faith alone in Him for your eternal salvation. Thank you for your encouragement, sister. I appreciate that.
So yes, we need to get right with God. We need our forgiveness for our sins. And the only way is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say to you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask a, a bread of any of you that is a father, will you give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he, will he for a fish give him a serpent? In other words, a snake? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? See, upon believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, you receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. The moment we put our faith in Christ, the moment we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive him as our Saviour. You see, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I know you believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. In other words, are you a child of God? Have you put your faith alone in him for your eternal salvation? He shed his precious blood for us on the cross. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. And he was, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, was casting out a demon, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the demon was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wondered. But some of them said, he casteth out demons through Beelzebub, the chief of the demons. In other words, the Lord Jesus, they said, they said the Lord Jesus Christ was casting out demons by the power of the devil. And what, a, what blasphemy that is. That's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, my friend. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, He is God. God in a body. God came down in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, was clothed with a perfect body. He took upon Himself humanity. But we see Jesus, who was made little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that He, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Do you realize that if you were the only person upon the whole wide world, the Lord Jesus Christ died for you as an individual? What love we see displayed at the cross of Calvary. We see the sins of the whole of humanity were heaped upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. You and I should die and go down to hell and the lake of fire, but God has had compassion upon us. He doesn't want us to go there. And he's made the way of escape. And there's only one way of escape. That is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of the living God who's sitting at the right hand of the Father in heaven right now. As I said before, waiting for your response. And I hope you respond in the right way. I hope you come to him by faith this morning. This is so urgent, this message. We don't understand the urgency of the salvation of your soul. The salvation of your soul is precious, my friend. It's very precious to God. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? See, there's nothing that we can give in exchange for our soul. You see, the price has been paid for our souls by the Lord Jesus Christ when he suffered and bled and died upon the cross. The full payment has been made. It's the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. As a man without blemish and without spot, the holy, perfect Son of the living God was made sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. So what you need to do is come in repentance toward God, that's a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that God promises you everlasting life. Yes, some of the people said that he cast out demons through the power of the devil, and others tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. 
the man now in the court set up with every king that divided against itself is brought to desolation. And a house divided against a house fallen. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because he saith that I cast out demons through Beelzebub. And if I by Beelzebub, or the power of the devil, cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out demons, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Yes, the kingdom of God was with them. The Lord Jesus Christ was with them. He is the Prince of Peace. He wants to be the one that would make peace through the blood of his cross. He shed his precious blood so that we might receive forgiveness for our sins. But that's not all about it. We have something to do in this equation. We've got to put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, faith is the key that unlocks the door for your salvation. The Lord Jesus Christ has done the work upon the cross that no one else could do. When he died, he said, Tetelestai, it is finished. One word in the original, Tetelestai, that means paid in full. The payment has been made by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, that blood being shed upon the cross is all sufficient for all who will come and put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I wonder, are you prepared to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and become a child of God? We all need salvation. We all need forgiveness for our sins. How about it this morning? You can get right with God by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, repentance toward God, that is a change of mind, Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. God wants to save your soul this morning, my friend. And the only way you can do that is through the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and your right response to that. If you could just drive past and say, she'll be right, mate, it's all good, all that sort of junk. But that's rubbish because it won't be right because you're going down the hill, my friend. And God wants to stop you on your mad career down the hell. He wants to save your soul this morning. Where you listen to this message this morning, wherever you're going, you need to think about eternity, my friend. You need to think about where you're headed for all of eternity. It's either going to be in heaven, or it's going to be down in the lake of fire and brimstone, the lake of fire and sulfur. Why go there when there's no need? God has provided the way of escape, through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. When you come to Christ this morning, you know, the word of God says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh, a, oh, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted, and divideth his spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest. And finding none, he said, I will return unto my house, whence I came out, or where I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished, he uh, goeth, then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. It came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice, and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Now how do we keep the word of God? We, we hear the word of God preached. You see, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so we need to hear the word of God preached so we can be saved. Or we have to read the word of God or, you know, read the Bible or read verses from the Bible to be saved because that word of God tells us our sinful condition. It lets us know the terrible situation we're in. Separated from God because of our sin. But God wants to bridge that gap. 
And the way he's done that is through the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the bridge, and he's the one that bridges that gap. So we can come to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. This is John 14 and verse 6. I am the way, not a way. Notice his words carefully. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you come to Christ? Come in repentance to what God has said. Change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner. And put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that God promises you everlasting life. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Either heaven or hell, depending on what we've done with the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you're interested in this, look me up. YouTube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ.